In this video, we will be going over the listing process for Turbo Lister's private mode. Private mode is designed to reduce split shipments to different fulfillment centers, potentially saving you money on shipping. The downside is that items in different fulfillment centers will be sorted into different shipments, and box content labels are required if shipping more than one box at a time. To start listing in private mode, open Turbo Lister and click on the Batch tab. This will bring up the batches currently in progress, as well as the option to begin a new batch. Click on Create a New Batch. Here, you will have the option to name your batch. You can also give your batch an SKU prefix, which is a code that will be added to the beginning of your SKUs to help you organize your batches. Below that, you can choose whether to add FNSKU labels to items yourself or have Amazon do it for you for a fee. If you're going to be labeling box content for your batch, select 2D barcode under box content. Finally, select private and click create to start listing in private mode. You can choose a preset workflow or create your own using the settings on the left hand side of the screen. Here in workflow A, pricing and grading are turned off, which means that you won't be asked to price or grade an item every time you scan it. Instead, TurboLister will use presets to automatically determine the pricing and grading. If they are turned on, then you will price and grade each item individually. Currently, the item scanned in will be priced at $100, which can be adjusted here. The cost of goods, which is how much you paid for the item, is set to $15 and can be adjusted here. Quantity determines how many of an item will be added to the batch. For example, if quantity is set to 3 and you scan an item, 3 copies of that item will be added to your batch. Here, the condition is set to good, which means these notes will be included with the items. Different notes will be added to the items when different conditions are selected. You can add or remove condition notes by clicking them or by typing them into this bar at the bottom of the screen. To start listing, type or scan your items into the search bar at the top of the screen. The item will then appear here at the bottom of the screen. If the printer setting is switched to on, then TurboLister will print an FNSKU label every time you scan an item. You can then label your item, covering any other barcodes, like so. Once you've listed all of your items, go ahead and click the Ship tab at the top of the page. In the Ship tab, you will see all the items in your shipment and the fulfillment centers that they are assigned to. To create a shipment, first click Select FC to select all of the items going to the same fulfillment center. Select Create Shipment to send the shipment information to Amazon. This will give you the option to either create a new shipment with the items selected or add them to an already existing shipment. Next, click on the Feed tab to confirm that your shipment was successfully submitted. If it was, it will say Completed under the Feed Status column. Keep in mind, that it can take a few minutes for your shipment to be successfully submitted to Amazon. Once the shipment has been submitted, you can print your shipping label. In the Ship screen, click Print Shipping Label to log into your Amazon account and enter the information for your shipment. Then, from Amazon Seller Central, you can download the box labels. Once you've downloaded them, open the PDF with the labels 
Then print them out with 4 inch by 6 inch dimensions. Once they've been printed, you can place them on their correct boxes. Be sure to select Print Amazon Shipment Label with Turbo Lister to print your labels in the correct format. Select the correct printer, then, under Properties, set the dimensions, or stocks, to 4x6. Then, select Landscape Mode and scale the labels to fit the page. Once you've submitted your shipment, you're ready to create your boxes. Click the Box tab, then select the shipment you'd like to work on from the column on the left-hand side of the screen. All of the items in that shipment will appear in the center column as Unassigned. To assign them to a box, click New Box. To add an item to the new box, select the box and either type or scan the FNSKU into the bar at the top of the right hand column. This will add the item to the box and remove it from the unassigned section. Once a box is full, you can create a new box and repeat. Once you've assigned all of your items to their boxes, click Print All to print your 2D barcodes that contain the box content information. This will print off the 2D box content labels with 4 by 6 inch dimensions. You can use a thermal printer like the Zebra 2844 set to 4 by 6 portrait orientation to do so. You can also print a box's individual 2D barcode by selecting the box and clicking Print Barcode. Place the barcodes and the shipping labels on their corresponding boxes and they are ready to ship. Thanks for watching our Turbo Lister private mode tutorial. For more tutorials, please see our website at www.acellertool.com/manual.